Hi there, this video is a special metaphor Southwest Worries Guard Advice video UK24 If you like this video, press the thumbs up on the right side of the screen Time to make a digital scene, it's 21.02pm in the evening Our US 9.02pm Right, my advice is if you ever see anyone on the train unconscious or not alert or looks like they're not well always go and get a member of the staff on the train, a guard don't leave the person on their own if you can't, if you cannot leave them, then don't leave them there if you can get someone to go and get them if there's not in the carriage. The stay calm, never panic. And just get just get the attention of people, someone to help you out. If you know your first aid training, you can attempt to do it, but uh, you need space to do it. On a train like this, it's it's quite quite tight space, not a lot of space to run down. So you just gotta be careful. Um, and don't pick the body up because it's not a good idea. Um, leave, leave, if you can, leave them on the floor, lie them down, but don't, don't pick the body up, and just stay calm. I hope you like this video. These scribes which are not the and it's to be positive in life, and never, never let anyone around you, it doesn't matter what background they are, who they are, just respect anyone around your life, and just respect them, because they're very, they're very important to anyone in life, people are. And there's, no, there's nothing, um, worse than in ill or in a, in a public area and always respect people like that and look away from them giving a lot of attention but when the medics turn up um, look away or also or help them out if, you, if they need your help but don't um, terminate them and sometimes they might come out of their whatever their situations they might have a go at you they don't mean to be nice to you they're just just telling you about a day or something's going on in their personal life but at the end of the day keep keep talking to them chat to them if they're unconscious and just be positive until medical people turn up or doctors turn up or the nurses or doctors. It's the right thing to do at the end of the day and uh, I just want to keep you tuned on YouTube. But the right thing to do is be positive and always help people that are worse off in your life if you can and if they're ill and not well any any place in life. And never be frightened and be positive and always cheer them up. Because life is not over, it's life continues after this life, I believe in an afterlife, if you don't, that's your choice. Anyway, I had a good evening see and I did the right stuff, saving someone, someone's life, also helping them out, and I've been able to watch myself, and it's not a nice place to be when you're ill, literally speaking, but I won't tell you about it, because it's um, quite personal, so yeah, but uh, never give up on life, be positive, always smile, and any, anyone in your family's not well, it's difficult. It's just hard to think of the positives every day you can just get on with life. Because it's never over. It might be dark in the distance, but there's always sunlight somewhere out there. Even in, in, in the darkest days, because it's got to stay positive. Never give up on life. Because there's always sunny, great stuff out there and some joyful stuff. Even if it's a short life, even if it's, you know, short, it's still worth living at that time and sparing it. Never never waste a moment in bed if you can. I get three hours sleep, sometimes two hours sleep. So it's not recommended you can do it um, for three or four nights, but you know, I wouldn't recommend taking drugs <laughs> like the Japanese did in the Second World War. Well, they were they wake 24 hours, that's why they were quite ruthless in the Second World War to the Americans. It's a true story. Look at our historical groups on uh, YouTube. Anyway, I'm going to let you go now. He's scratched up the sign of my friends, Mark and Jimmy, Friday, free to fight, and I too, Friday. So he'll lace his second fight. And it's my friend John Larsha every Sunday at 9 to 12 and live on the Surrey Hills uh, Woke Race Nation every Sunday. And it's my friend Shane Lyons in Louis every Friday at 10 to 12 and Surrey Hills Race Fight. This is your garden. Scratch on Sunday, Jim. It's my friend.